What you're about to hear is an excerpt from the interview I had with the Morningside resident who would like to remain anonymous. Staying silent on this matter for over 30 years, she has finally broken silence and decided to expose us to the real truths behind the infamous quarry parties of the 1980s. Well, first of all, let me express my gratitude for allowing me to appear on your show. On behalf of the BBC, it is our pleasure. Continue, please. I've wanted to tell our side of this story for years, and I thank you for the opportunity to do so. If you could be so kind as to give us a background, uh, maybe when you first sort of discovered what was going on in the, uh, in the neighbourhood. Yes, yes, indeed. It began with just a little noise pollution. My husband and I just assumed it was the neighbourhood children acting out in the street. But it soon came to light the source of the noise was adolescent reprobates abusing drugs, each other, and generally behaving badly. Well, there you have it. A first-hand witness account from the time of the quarry party. Thank you, Mrs. Anonymous. You have been very helpful in our quest to discover and unearth the mystery of Blackford Hill.